Hey ho guys, it's me Thomas and welcome to my little channel. I want to talk about how to get our crawlers slowly and nice to crawl. Here you see my C10 running at stock engine and the slow gear. 5M It works really great to me It's slowly very sensitive Every little bit on the trigger I see instantly the wheels turning not like the Enduro 5010. This is what I'm I was running before. And yeah. Here you see every little obstacle. This engine has no torque. This is for sure but it's able to go very, very slowly. This is what I'm like. This is what I like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm searching for a solution. How to get it cheap with talk and slowly. And Another YouTuber, the Donald Sneffer, was researching a lot about engines and I figured out that for slow control the Endura 50T isn't that good. It has torque a lot, but yeah, if you try to get slowly, no way. But here you see the stock engine makes a good job, especially when it's downhill. Here you see, so nice and slow, no problem. Just when obstacle comes, yeah, and the engine has has to deliver a lot of talk yeah then yeah here we can so see it without with three turning wheels and it starts to turn nice and slowly and here you see the dead bolt on the with the 50t intra motor and there I have to pull the trigger that much it's my second motor I thought it was good but it isn't yeah you you saw it it's when I release the trigger it gets a little bit more slowly but no slow control I I don't like it. Maybe if I put lower gears in, I can't imagine that a different ESC can handle this. You see how slow it goes up. But when the pressure goes away, then it's jumping. Nice and slow. I'm really surprised what's possible with the stock engine. Okay, one one stock engine I already blowed up. 
pat yeah for this price you see all four wheels are turning the rear axle are sticking in this stone <laughs> yeah I don't have to pull the trigger very much this low gear yeah this is schon really good to me I'm thinking about to put a uh, underdrive in the front and then the rear to make it much more capable much more slowly that the little engine has less work and more talk I think this is a good solution to me but yeah I'm so surprised how good the stock engine works yeah and here when there are a lot of stones sticking it's every little stone and still yeah What do you guys think what's the best for getting slow control without wasting that much money for a fury take or yeah I won't waste 100 euros for just an upgrade This is schon so funny to drive. This is what I like. Slowly, smooth. Yeah, let me leave your opinion in the comments. What motors are you driving for slow control? I see so many tests of engines, but the most of them are about top speed and just talk. Yeah, at this corner you saw it clearly. When the corner is getting, when it's getting the corner and then it flips. Yeah, yeah. But this is much more better than with the 50T Enduro. I never expect that. Yeah. What's about the other motors? I was hearing about the 66T engine from Endure is much more faster than the 50T with less torque but more slow control, I think. But Donald Sneffe already told me that their new edition 
and he was testing the old one. So again, I have no clue what to what to buy or how to make the settings. Did you guys imagine that a different EC can make it better? I saw a brushless engine and ESC from a from a plane, yeah, from a RC plane, and to me it looks like almost the same like the Furitech, but even not the half of the price. This is what I am thinking about actually. But yeah. I shown I already asked for if any have some experience with that with cheaper brushless Yeah, I don't like uh, uh Top speed is for me, I don't care about, yeah. But yeah, a little bit it have to be when I go on the trails and I have to walk that much slow, then that's a little bit boring, but <laughs> yeah. You see the deadbolt running with the 50T engine. Okay, it's a, it's, it has bigger reels, but the engine has torque enough for that, yeah. But the bigger reels lift up the speed too, I know, yeah. But it makes much more capable for the obstacles. Uh, here it's coming, gonna see it. No pressure. If I pull the trigger as careful as I can, it instantly kicks in with uh, around about 30, uh, 300 turns per minute. Yeah, you see, it, it's jumping when I start. Yeah. Yeah, here you can see I'm uh, actually building a parkour, crawler parkour for the winter time. Here in Europe it's getting cold too <laughs> and yeah, I won't wait until the next year, till the weather's fine. So I decided, yeah, again, see I pull the trigger turns fast, I release a little bit and get slowly, get slowly, okay, there you see it stops, pull, fast and yeah, this is what I'm hating, it kicks in with that much speed, yeah, again the C10 on stock engine, the deadbolt has the same gear inside, so just the engine and the wheels are different in the drivetrain. So everything else is 
the same stock. Yeah, guys, there are a lot of options. What can I do to get slow control without that jumpy shit? Sup? And ah, nice and slow, but a little bit more, yeah, drag break or. I don't know how you call that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Do I go brushless? Do I go for the differential under gear, uh, under drive? Do I go to try out different engine? But every every brushed engine is has more speed. Yeah, Donald Sneffer make a great job. And yeah, he measure everything. Big thanks to you. I shown I already thought that it's I blow up the engine, but no. He showed me that they are like that. They start to kick in after over they get over one volt. Yeah. Before they do nothing, yeah. You put the trigger and put the trigger. Nothing happened. Just when you pulled the trigger the halfway, then the engine started working. Nice and slow. This is what Papa like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, guys. Leave a comment, watch out for that shit, tell me what's your experience, I have a few ideas, but what helps me for sure, I don't know, so I have to try out something. But yeah, for sure, without wasting a lot of money. Yeah? not the time for me to waste for the upgrades more than the car was costing me. This makes no sense to me. Yeah, yeah guys, that's it for today. I want to thank you for watching and yeah, keep crawling. <laughs> Bye.